G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. There are many cookie recipes out there, but I guarantee this one's a little bit different and you're going to love it. So join me today as I make my version of a double chocolate and Coke flavored cookie. Okay, so to start off this cookie recipe into a mixing bowl, we're gonna place in our melted butter, which I just melted in the microwave then our white sugar, and then our brown sugar. If you can't find brown sugar, just replace it with white sugar. And using a hand mixer or a stand mixer, we're gonna beat this up until it's nice and creamy. Okay, now that it's nice and creamy, we're gonna crack in one egg. Then we're gonna pour in the cola brand of your choice. Then our chocolate that I've just melted in the microwave. Then our vanilla extract. And we're gonna beat this up until it's well combined. Okay, now that that's well combined, we're gonna place in our all-purpose flour, our cocoa powder, and our bicarb soda. And don't forget, all the ingredients are listed in the description. And we're just gonna mix this through until it's combined. Okay, now that's combined, we're just gonna quickly add in our chocolate chips and let it mix for just a couple of seconds. Okay, now that this is done, we're just gonna place this into the fridge for about an hour to chill. Okay, so I have a baking tray lined with non-stick baking paper. So we just wanna grab about a teaspoon at a time and I'm just gonna place it onto the tray. Now due to the consistency, you wanna keep them relatively apart because they will spread very well. And you also don't need too much because of that as well. Okay, so once done, we're gonna place this into a preheated oven at 170 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Okay, so I've taken them out of the oven and I've let them cool down. And I'll tell you what, these smell fantastic. So I end up only cooking these for about nine minutes. Now they do look burnt, but trust me, they're not. It's because I use so much dark chocolate. But I'd say they're just about perfect. As I said, they do come out thin. And as you can see, look at that. They're very thin, but they're also going to taste fantastic. Let's give one a try. Mm. Oh, that is good. They're still surprisingly moist in the middle. Slightly crunchy on the outer rim. That's where it's thinnest. It's also a very, very chocolatey taste. And there is a hint of that Coke flavor. It really does work well with the chocolate. But they really, really did turn out fantastic. It's like wafer, but <laughs> it's really, really good. But the only thing that really matters with these chocolate and coke cookies is that they taste simply delish. Now because they spread out so thin, the mixture that I've made up with should make about 30 to 40 cookies. So you'll have plenty for everyone. Thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. A list of ingredients are down below as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter and Home Handy Hints channel. Please give this video a huge thumbs up and leave a comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another delicious recipe.